So there's a video game coming out next week that a lot of people are excited about called Fallout 4. And Bethesda told our friends at Game Informer, oh, by the way, uh, as, a des- as a technical design exercise, in order to help prep the team to make Fallout 4, we ported Skyrim to Xbox One, but Todd Howard said, quote, don't get your hopes up yet, as far as that ever being released. Is anybody really looking for that? But I think not? everyone who played Skyrim played Skyrim, or who wants Skyrim yeah. played Skyrim. That's I think so you're probably like, right. So like you know? zen of you. Everyone who played Skyrim played Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I know, come to. Um, Show me. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's interesting. But, yeah, I don't know. I find it weird that, that they seem like the only company, I guess I'm in Bioware, that didn't jump into like the feeding frenzy of uh, – the, the remasters or whatever, the HD Dishonored. Yeah. yeah. Too bad, because they should, and I would totally play Mass I think, Effect trilogy yeah. remastered. Dishonored being so new and having a sequel coming so soon, like, soon-ish, like, they announced that, you know, Dishonored would come with Dishonored 2 or something. Is that how they did it? Mm, I don't remember. No, 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 sorry. No, it, was just, it, was just, it was made backward compatible, and then they released the HD remake. That's right. Yeah. So it was like, hey, we're making Dishonored 2. Play Dishonored 1 on your new consoles. See, something like, that like Dishonored sense. or something if they did Mirror's Edge, the original, those would make sense to me because those were uh, new IPs that were critically regarded but uh, didn't quite sell what they should have. Right. Whereas like Skyrim, I mean, honestly, like Sean said, with Skyrim, like I think everyone who played Skyrim played Skyrim. Mm-hmm. That said, I really think it would sell. Yeah, like, I, absolutely I agree. Think it would sell. There's no point in releasing this yeah. because of exactly that because we've moved on and it's Fallout time and. Like, they're probably working on Elder Scrolls 6, and maybe they'll do something around when they announce that, probably next year. Uh, but I don't know, man. Like, I think it's time has passed. I don't mm-hmm. think there's a reason to. I don't yeah. think there's. Yeah, I mean, like, again, philosophically, I get behind HD remasters when I think that doing so, like, on a new console would benefit the game in a way that the old console wouldn't have, and I don't think improved textures or graphics is that reason. Yeah. You know, like, if it can do something new, something interesting. I mean, if they uh, sure. if they release it on PS4, people who played it on PS3 could actually play it now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Not, not Good a, point. A that is true. Of a game. Yeah, yeah the, the one point I wanted to make about this was that uh, I I think that at a lot of, a lot of other companies, there would have been pressure from the very, very top mm-hmm. on Todd Howard and his team to put that out. Like, word gets up, like, they did what? Oh, well, let's put that out. That's easy yeah. money. But Todd Howard uh, is a guy I've, I've interviewed him a million times. Uh, I'd been at, back in the Oblivion Skyrim days. I'd been out to the studio a bunch of times to to do coverage and kind of got to see him in action. And he's a guy like he's been at Bethesda. If you don't know, Todd Howard's been there for twenty years. He's been at the same developer. That's crazy. He is, uh, and he he has earned all the respect and clout he has, and he has. He doesn't go around like flaunting it, no, but he has a lot of clout watch, there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this, he told me the story on my old OXM podcast about. I asked him like, so how do you, do, you know, do you get to do whatever you want because you're, you know, you he makes millions selling games and he's been there a long time, and the, what he told me was, well, the the way he exercises that when he wants to is, he said, he told the the bosses. I would like to make a Fallout game, so they went. That's when they went Please and bought buy the IP. It for yeah. Me. yeah, because it was out there to be. You know, it was, it was there to be taken from the the uh, ashes of Interplay. Mm-hmm. Good for and, him. Yeah, sharp and, eye. And of course, that decision only. I mean, that that has made Bethesda Zenimax millions upon millions of dollars yeah. for them. So if Todd, so that's how Todd operates, and and I I just think that, uh, you know, if if that were an Activision or an EA. It would have been, uh, oh, well, we're going to put that out. And Todd would be like, nah, I don't want to put that out. And like, we're going to put that out. But at Bethesda, he's enough of uh, a respected and, and powerful guy there in, in a nice way where he's like, yeah, I don't want to put that out. And they go, okay. So a week ago, <laughs> if he would have said, I want to make a Candy Crush game, <laughs> they, they bought game. $10.1 billion <laughs> later. Oh, the open world, free form role playing game. Big fan. Yeah, I would play that. Of Candy Crush. I would like to make a Grand Theft Auto game. <laughs> Todd, you're mad with power. <laughs> Damn it, Todd. Rain it in, buddy. They buy Star Wars from Disney. <laughs> I would like to make a Mario game. <laughs> Actually, I would 100% be down for Todd Howard making a Elder Scrolls esque, you know, open world Star Wars yep. first person oh, role playing game. Yep. Please. Don't stop doing that. Don't say that. <laughs> 
That Amy Hennig, awesome. please, please steal my heart. All he needs is the. I mean, how long is the EA licensing deal for? <laughs> Ten years. Oh, oh, years never mind. Could happen. Just start working on it yeah, now. Start yeah, working exactly. on it now. Incredible when it came out. <laughs> you could use that as marketing. Ten years in the making. <laughs>